Yes, yes, welcome back to another episode of Electrician TV. In tonight's episode, it's a slightly different. We start a new job where it's a round house. The bit you'll see in the video is us first fixing, and this is actually in the basement, and it's an entertainment area. The guy wants it to look a bit commercial, so what we're doing is we're doing tube work all on the ceilings, and we're putting it all, all the cable in, in the wirings. <laughs> right, let's get into it, roll the beat. Right, so start of a new job. So we're just here for this week, first fixing it. We're all here. Uh, Reese is unfortunately not very well today. We've got Ebsy over there. So just quickly showing what we're doing here, Rob, Ollie. Um, we're making these bandons and uh, and copex. We put the uh, the the uh, banding through the copex, and then you screw that up into the wood up there. Yeah, and show, then... show them a bit close, just so it's a bit more clearer. So um, when you pull the the, the cables. It won't, uh, it won't scratch on the uh, copex, on the, on the uh, banding even. Banding, yeah. So yeah. we're literally just going to lash them all in. Lens with us and all, we're just going to lash them in, see Ebs is doing that, get them all in, and then after it's all wired, we can address them all in. And that is how we're going to do it, because there's quite a few to go in, and it's just the quickest and easiest way of doing it. I'll, throughout the week, I'll show you. I'm here all week. I think Colin might be with Reese and, and, uh, and someone else on that job tomorrow. Thursday and Friday. Oh yeah, where are you yeah. going? Sophie's taking me away for my birthday. How many times? How many holidays do you have, guys? Gee, at least you're having a college day away. Like it, like it. Thinking about the firm then, isn't he then? Yes, yes. Love day off, huh? So we've got these uh, lights going. I'll tell you what, this old light um, is puffer because this is the 110 version with the charger. And that charges the 5 amps quicker than they use the other two, so. They're, they're, that is supplying them, but you just got to try, plug it into 110, you know what I mean? But it's a bit of a bind. But, right, let's crack on. Oh, get some wiring up. What we use for cutting banding, there's loads of things you don't really need a specialist tool, but I like to use these bolt croppers. I've reviewed them, I think, in the past. I've got a link if I can find them, but these are beautiful, aren't they, really? Yeah. They're better than my side cutters for cutting it. Yeah. It's just a little bit easier, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, so, it's just in this little room. This is a laundry room, this one. So this is gonna, we've got the plant room which is going here, so it's just running them underneath there, and then once it's all wired, we're gonna uh, clip, uh, clip them all. So I think I think a lot of this block work down here, uh, Ebs, is all just being painted and all that, so that's why he wants to keep it as rustic as possible. Yeah. So you know what I mean? That's why we're using conduit. So wherever there's, uh, there's only yes, yes. So Ebs is just literally gonna cut these out. This is what they were doing here Friday, Ebs. So why, what were you saying about the multi tool? Um, why do you think it's better than Reese's? Reese's got the Dewalt one, Dewalt which one, yeah. I've always preferred the Dewalt one. But obviously, where well, we've got the Milwaukee gear to the batteries, we always use that. But why do you prefer that one? Uh, this one because it's just a switch and you flick it on, you can go in with the angle, and the angle must back with the trigger. Yeah. Reese's one for the trigger, and then you spark. But this one, um, so much more powerful. It is. To be fair, that is a newer version, so that is newer than the Reese's one. That's the fuel one, isn't it? Yeah. Where my other ones I used to have were well crap, weren't they? They used to last about a month, weren't they? Blow up, yeah. yeah, blow up, yeah. But this one seems a de different gravy. They've obviously learned from it. Go on in, guys. <laughs> Doing, we're just going to start wiring the ring so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to split it into two so we're going to have the front area to the workshop on one ring and then this back area on another yeah and that's how we're going to wire it and what we're going to do is we're going to stagger wire it so then rather have one leg going all the way to the end and then one short we're going to have uh, one going to the first one then to the third one and then in between yeah so we're going to stagger wire it so there's not one real long leg yeah does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, and then they both marry up at the end, yeah? And that's how we're going to do it, which is going to be the workstation, which is that bit round there, yeah? But me and Len marked up when we was here. When was we here? Last Monday, wasn't it? Yeah. When we marked up where all the points are, so we're going to hammer for it, yeah? Let's have it, Ollie, yeah? Whoa. So we got half the uh, half the wiring done now. We're doing the speakers and the Cat 6. We've got the... Uh, what do they call it? Yeah, yeah, the duct grade sort of one, just because there's a bit of it going outside. So 
what we've done is got a lot of the cables here. Ebs is going to take you for a little walk. Go on, Ebs. Don't put your fat hand over the top. No, of it's not over. Make sure you keep the landscape. Talk to him and tell him how we've done it, yeah? Basically, what, what we've done, we've just done two minutes. See if you can do it without saying basically, though. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly did. What we've done now, we've just done two loops at the top there. Not not a bit of the wood, so then we get two loops. Bottom one for power and the top one for data. And then we've just done that all the way along. Every other one. one. And then where we've, where we've got the steels here, we just looped it over because it's, it's, gonna, it's, it's all getting boxed in anyway, so it don't really matter. But it's all just temporarily tied until we come back and then fix it all back. If you could do us a favour and show your support for the channel. If you could do us a favour and show your support for the channel, uh, like, like, subscribe and flick bean. Flick who's bean? Channel bean. <laughs> yes, yes, bye. Yes, yes, so I'm just showing Ollie the most simple trick. Where we like, we're doing the speakers and we're doing the data. Where this is going to be like uh, number one, it's obviously going to be odd. So before I cut it, I just do the one one ring and then I do three. Yeah, makes sense. So that one to be two, four, and all stuff like that. It's a nice little trick. Yeah. Yes, yes. Ebs has been treating himself over the weekend. Go on, Ebs. Give us a quick tour. It's actually got something in there that I'm massively impressed with. To be yeah. fair, go on. Give us a quick tour. It's on the front here. Got some gear in the case. Got built in line. I like that. Show, show them the other bit as well. Like that's the main part. I and think that's well impressive. That's well clever. Hold on, I'll turn that light off just so you get the full. That is well good, isn't it? Yeah. I must admit, I'm well impressed with that. I was when I showed you earlier, and I. Yeah. I'll turn that light back on. It just makes it a bit easier for showing you. I got some gear, old boy. Look, inksel. I can't remember yeah. giving you an inksel. Look that off you. I know. <laughs> yeah. <I like> that. <laughs> I've gave you most of it, except for the screwdrivers. The old uh, pliers are still a bit ropey, though, aren't they? They're the S&R ones. Them ones are both. Uh, uh -huh. Ollie Oli gave you them, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Got some gear, though, guys. Getting there, aren't you? Yeah. Slowly but surely. What's that old bit of tape for? That's clever, isn't it? That old clip stick. Yeah. That's a good idea, man. Which I thought that I like that. I think that is a well good idea. It's so simple, isn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah nice one, nice bag, mate. Um, your dad gave you it, didn't he? Yeah, I think about 120 quid, I think. Yes, yes, day two. Go on, Ollie's going to explain to us what we what we've been up to. Um, so we've put all these bits of banding and copex up to keep the cables in while we're pulling it the whole way along. Um, once the customers here to to fully confirm this is what we're having we're going to take them out and band them nice and neatly um 50 just, mil away from that pipe yeah yeah it's just uh it makes it easier to pull them and it don't it doesn't uh doesn't damage the cable when you pull it yeah we're wired near enough two two miles worth of yeah. cable we liked yesterday as well didn't lot. we yeah it was yes and now we're over this side today just finishing up this corner and the back side so we've split all the circuits haven't we so we've split all the circuits from the front front for the lights the lights and the uh, sockets we've obviously wired uh, ring mains because we favour them yeah. over radials don't we Ollie and that's how we're going to do it we're going to do it on each floor it's a three storey house and this is like a workstation here we've not actually gave them a tour do you want to give them a tour of what each room is So this area is like a little office workstation kind of place. I don't actually know what's happening in this storage, area. It's just storage. storage area, yeah. There's nothing really to see around there. This area is kind of like a nightclub bar. Which is pretty cool to have in your house. Yeah. Um, then we don't have to we don't have to take them through there, there's nothing really. Yeah, it's just a utility, yeah, it's just um, a utility living room. This is the bar here. Toilet, and then this is a gym slash cinema theatre. Yeah, and the board, the board's just going there, and that's why we've got all the cable there because it's going to have all the uh, all the router. And I'll, I don't think this, I don't think this is going to warrant a rack. There ain't going to be enough ports, is there? But we're bringing them all to here, and they're going to be underneath the bar somehow. But we're not too sure because obviously it's going to have fridge. That's going to be a, so that sunny flow there. 
is going there because obviously it's going to have the kitchen waste and the toilet waste and we're actually in the basement so you say this one's going to be a free phase board well it's a free phase supply but we're not too sure I don't really know I don't really know what you expect per floor so to know what yeah. the loadings are but it's, there's not a lot is there nah. and obviously with all LED and all that now <coughs> I'm not sure because what, what it was is the car charger in the uh, car charger in the in the garden we weren't too sure whether he wanted that car charge, but I don't think he's got no interest in it whatsoever, even though he's already got one out. Right, so we've got a meeting with a guy today who does all this, the underfloor heating. So this actual site's got a plumber, plus it's got the eco dude who, who do all this. This is actually a, uh, what's it called? ETA. ETA, so we're literally you put logs in this, and it's like a biofuel fuel sort of. Got wheel of screwdrivers and all that. As well, I've soon sussed that out, didn't he? He's done well to find them, didn't he? I found them. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah, so basically, what me and Ollie are doing, we're just sussing out all the other floor heating because we've wired most of the stats and we're just seeing them. But what they can do, so each one of those, I think it's flow and return. And uh, yeah, so, but you can double up the zones, you know what I mean? So, because that, that main area, we've only got one and it's right in the kitchen, isn't it? Which is a bit stupid. But yeah, because these all go to these probes, which I'll show you in a minute, and we just wire a triple. Where's the, there's not one round here, is there? Not the line, no. So they just literally go to the four floor probes, which you want a triple. They were chatting about um, wireless ones, but I don't really ever see the point of the wireless uh, thermostats, especially when you're at this stage where you can just wire them. Yeah, so they go underneath. That comes up into a controller and then uh, this is going to be surface, so we're going to have a pipe where obviously that wall's going to, these bits of wood here are to indicate where the walls are. And that's going to go straight up and that's what that stat is there waiting to to go to there. And that's how we do them, isn't it? But we're just waiting, we're, we're just looking for them. The actual, one of the builders showed us, but we've got a meeting with the guy, everyone's here today, even the owner, and it's been really, really. What we're doing in here is uh, we're literally marking up where all the lights are going to come. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a conduit coming off that wall with three boxes for all. I think it's four spotlights in here, but we're literally just marking up the top there so we know where to pull the uh, feed through. So we've got to pull the feed because I think we're tubing all the way through this one to this one. Because we've got the switch line and that for somewhere else anyway, haven't we? Yeah. For the other one. Yeah. The one around the other side. Yeah, for all this yeah. centre bit for these lights underneath here. Which is going to be a nightmare, but it is what it is. Right, so we just find that. But a good way is, I'll show you a little trick, is what we've done, is to measure it off the wall. So we measure, this room's 250 wide. Uh, so we want 125 across there, and then another foot, 125. And then just find a laser between the two marks, which you can see down there. There's one there, and there's one there. But I absolutely got it bang spot on the first time, Ollie, didn't I? Yeah. But it's just a fluke, isn't it? But yeah. we move. I didn't want to give you the satisfaction. It's not very nice. Not so it is, uh, what is it, Wednesday morning, Ollie? Wednesday. Yeah, so yesterday afternoon, uh, Reese turned up and he gave his hand with a bit of this conduit. His job got a bit cancelled, so. What we've basically done is this is this conduit is all just decorative for down here, but we'll show you throughout the day of uh, cutting and threading and all that sort of stuff. But this bit's turned out all right. It was just literally we, were, we had to rush yesterday because the customer's coming today, so we wanted to give him a sample bit just to have a little look. And um, we've just got all the MK metal clad stuff going on down here just uh, for switch. We don't, we're probably going to go back to the back there for the uh, for the. Uh, boiler house plant room uh, light because this is actually in the line so we've just brought the feeds to here and then we've got a single so that will actually be obviously all pinned back but that that's about there we've used the old female bushes to protect the cables but yeah it's nice isn't it well, it looks pretty good doesn't it yeah obviously like every single building the ceiling eighth level but there's nothing we can't bang a saddle over for isn't it Ollie why well, let's crack on bit warmer today isn't it outside I think it's warmer down here isn't it yeah it is warmer yeah I like, off, so obviously I don't know like uh, obviously you were saying the first day it was snowing when we got here didn't it yesterday it was pissing down the rain wasn't it snowing. was it snowing yesterday yeah it was snowing yesterday. oh heavy it must have been yesterday then 
Yeah. So what we're doing here, we're doing a tee bit off, off here, back to the wall, to there. But we're going to try and cover this seam, but obviously when the slaggy bit's still hard, it's just knocking them all off. Yeah, and then we're going to just blow this all out again, Ollie. But yeah, some of it is up there, looks more dirty, but I think it'd be criminal if we run a pipe next to it without hiding it, because it's just for God. So what we've done is we've, we've got a laser set up on that edge, laser set on that edge, laser in the centre. We're coming down there, so it's going to be a tea bit. So what we've done on the ceiling is we've drawn where the spouts of the boxes are going to go. So then now we know the length for the cable. One female to thread and two, two, two times two. And then that should be even. See, it's old Jason. Hey, hey. So just three full turns, yeah? Yeah, no, so just over here, Jason. So, yeah, three full turns. Have you yeah. pressed record? Yeah. yeah, so we're just gonna, uh, yeah, three. So we're only putting a female one in there. Yeah, yeah I'll promise that the whole day is doing <laughs> record. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm holding it because this is a green book bender, which is pony. <laughs> I've got to hold it to stop it from slipping. Jesus. Oh, it's riveting. So basically, all he's doing is to stop and die because it's a female bush. He's only going to be about three turns, so he don't have to go as far. So what Ollie's done there, he's just done a few turns. He wipe it off before you file it. We ain't got round files, so we have to use my bastard file. I'm, I've got a file, it might fit now a little better. What, a round one? Not a round one, but... I mean, yeah, well, if you think it'll fit better, yeah. Yeah, so it's just cleaned it out with that, it's perfect. Yeah, have we got any female bushes here? Yes, so that's all we do is we just put the female bush on there that goes up, that takes the twin and a half, and then the rest of it all goes through from the first light, and then we turn it into singles, yeah? So we're doing it. It's only switch line and neutral for this yeah. anyway. It's only decorative. Right, so it's Thursday morning. I'm just literally show. I've just gave Reese a tour of the job because he's here with Lenny and uh, Ebsy today. We got this bit of pipe work done. Yes, that looks all right, Lenny, doesn't it? Yeah. So they're just finishing it off because uh, the customer has shown us where he wants everything. Reese and that are going to finish it today. I've just got about a million, million surveys to do today, which is a bit of a nightmare. Ebsy's got no cutters, ain't you, babes? Yeah. He's got a tonsillitis as well, haven't you? Something like that, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, Reese, you have to give him some of your special medicine, haven't you, Reese? <laughs> Tell about Reese, look, what's all that about? I'd like to say the phone. It's hard, it's hard to do, you know, I can't do, you know. That is so creepy, Reese. Oh, man. What is that all about? What is that all about? Everyone knows I'm the one, doesn't it? <laughs> That man was well right there, no? Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, right, so if Reese is here all sorting all that. I don't know where you were going with that, Reese. That's well creepy. It's YouTube, <laughs> not Instagram, babes. Yes, yes, they're nice, though, aren't they? You, I bought him the better ones because they've got the uh, lock on them. See, they've got the lock there. Yeah. Yeah, my ones ain't got them one. Yeah. Right, yeah. So I didn't realise when you were showing us the tour on your bag, I didn't realise it was your birthday. I felt guilty. Yeah, you know man. Happy birthday, mate. Yeah. Uh, down here is going to be like a little bar slash nightclub slash function room area. It's all staying. Um, it's all staying with the industrial look. All this ceiling staying exactly the same. So we've got the lights all going in. The lights are going to be mounted over the top of the beza boxes. Um, how we've had to run the cables, and then he's just been uh, today meeting in a mall up there, mate. Yeah. So that's all nice and neat now, all banded up, high level, um, in the zone and stuff. Um, and this, it's really awkward because we're not allowed to pierce any of this. This is the waterproofing stuff, so um, yeah, we're not allowed to pierce any of that stuff. So we actually have to, like, it's, it's quite awkward, but once, once the Celotex is back in and push back it holds it all in place and that's a perfect example because it's, it's all damp as you can see so um yeah um it's a bit of a nightmare but we've got like wall lights so obviously all at the same height what we've done we um we put a laser on the steel for all of the heights didn't we we've got a date on mine mm -hmm. to, for the finished floor 
um, level. Um, and yeah, so we've obviously got audio cables going in here, socket down there, socket there. We've got a TV socket and obviously the data for that so that they can have whatever they want on there, like right? different sky dishes or whatever going on or whatever might be happening. Um, we got up here there's going to be a disco ball we think and then though the two the two at the end are um, going to be some kind of lights as well um, so yeah that's pretty cool going um, you know the jazz lights you come around into this section it's all it's all really dark um, it's a bit awkward obviously but I'll just point out what we've got we've got a fuse board going in there there's a bar area where this orange bit on the floor is um, going in here and then all of these cables are going to switch separate separate things over there obviously so so that they can have it on like different volumes or different yeah just loads of stuff going on really we've still got as you can see the difference between um this standing and how it's over here because we haven't finished wire in this second yet so we've still got it looped in with these um Opex going around it so it don't chew up the cable on the bounding. Yeah. So we'll walk through. I've, I've been doing this today. We'll go through the dark section, but we, we will get through into the light, I promise. We'll go through this. Right, here's the dark, dark cell, but I've been doing this today. All of these need bounding back and stuff, but we started this conduit um, straight through the wall, drill. It's one solid piece, it was a bit awkward, but. Obviously we got it done. There's going to be a light down here, um, following round into this corridor, which is obviously all going to be the um, light, light, another bit of conduit down here to the light there, then the light there. Um, and, um, yeah. It kind of feels like we're in a train station, doesn't it? Then we're yeah. Like oh, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So, all in all, it's going to be a really lovely project. We're almost here with this um, downstairs bit. Um, another thing I've got is going to obviously be a big window to let in as much light as possible. Um, and then they've got here is going to be a down light going into this angled bit of the ceiling. Um, got PIR to control that. And then here, the, these cables, we've got like punch them through outside. They're going to be wall lights either side of this big window we've got this this is the main entrance over there isn't it then yeah again so yeah obviously it's really awkward to try to get a decent bit of wire to be fair the line ain't even that bad trying to carry it around as well it's a bit awkward and um, sometimes you have to build it on site but yeah that's a bit of a mess there but that's just going to be a switch we've got to sort that out next time mm -hmm. um, underneath this stairwell we're going to put um, put the controls for the lighting and the socket as well because that's staying open the cupboard as well right up there so we can have for the PIRs and the isolator for the PIRs just in case anything goes wrong with that um, as each load should have its own isolator a then yeah um, but yeah all in all it's been a lovely little week isn't it yeah good week yeah happy Friday guys Right, thanks for watching, and don't forget, if you're going to be anything, then be electric. Up the old blues. Oh, yeah! That should not be in the spouse.